Hey everybody, it's me Danny. So today I'm back with another video. This is, yeah, and this is a video, like, idea that I've had in my head for a while because I've, because if, you, if you've seen, like, my NaNoWriMo videos and stuff, you know that I like to write. You know that one day I want, to, I might want to be a writer. But, you know, yeah. And since I finally finished the novel I was working on for NaNoWriMo, yay! I've been, like, like starting to figure out things for my next novel, which is whew, very different from the one that I wrote before. Because the previous one is, like, kind of, like, more of an urb urban fantasy, paranormal kind of thing. But the one I have in mind is super high fantasy adventure kind of thing and those two are like very different because with the urban fantasy I can get away with using like normal names like Joe, Billy, Bob, etc etc but with high fantasy those kind of seem out of place in like the super majestic world of magic and fairies and demons and whatnot so <laughs> as I've been planning and plotting this new novel out, I've come into, like, one struggle that any of you people, like, who write or have dreams of writing, you've probably faced the struggle of character names. Ugh, sorry. Just, it's, they're the worst. Like, sometimes you can get them pretty easily, because with the one I just finished, those names came pretty easy, easy to me. But this one... Not so much. <laughs> like, my main character's first name came to me pretty easily because it was the name of a substitute I had in a class, and it's a really cool name, so it, it's just been bouncing around in the back of my brain forever. But, <laughs> but for some of the other character names that I've had to come up with, it hasn't been that easy. So, today I've compiled a list of 10 tips that you may or may not already know, or you may or may not already use, but 10 character naming tips that, that I've, I've used, like, a lot of these, but, like, this might help you find a suitable name for any characters, like, for a character, so, whether it's, like, for a video game, or, like, for a book, or movie, or script, or whatever, so, Come with me, and you'll see. I'm sorry. That's, yeah. But let's enter the world of character naming. If I look off to the side, it's because I've, I've got my handy dandy journal set up over here where I wrote down my tips last night. So, and so yeah. But let's hop right on into this because, yeah. Okay. So tip number one. This is an easy tip that I use a lot, like, especially for, like, my urban fantasies and, like, for scripts and stuff, go on just normal, everyday baby name websites. Like, just search up, like, on Google, baby name websites, and a million will pop up. Just click on any one, scroll through, like, all the million names, and find one that suits your character. Or, alternately, tip number two, if you are writing a high fantasy or like coming up with a name for like a character in Dungeons and Dragons or whatever, go on, uh, tip number two is go on name generator websites. I use this one a lot too, especially since like fantasy, woo, so much fun. But th these are websites that, like you normally like click, but like you can either like set specifics or like, like if it's a male character, a female character, if you want it like a long name with like lots of syllables and vowels and whatnot. And like you click a button and then a bunch of names will generate and you can like keep clicking it, like reset like all your settings and stuff and super helpful sometimes. <laughs> I use that a lot. Like and it and like it doesn't even have to be for characters as well. It can just be like for place names as well because there are a lot that come like Names where you can generate, like, country names or place names and even titles. Yeah, and super helpful for whatever you're looking for. If you're writing, like, a medieval story, you can go on, like, look up night, like, names for nights generator thing. And, and like, it'll come up with, like, 
Lord, Sir, Knight, and then name. Whatever you, whatever suits your fancy. Okay. And then tip number three. This is one that I've used recently with a script that I was writing. And um, this one is use the name of a friend or a family, family member or somebody you just met that has, that kind of reminds you of the character you're trying to name. Like, if you have, like, a muse for a character, like, use that person's name. If, like, they, if they feel like that character to you, use their name in it. Or, like, if you've got, like, an annoying sibling and you've got, like, an obnoxious side character, use your sibling's names for that obnoxious side character. It works. Like, I used, like, I was writing a script about a long story, but it's about a guy who's, like, getting revenge on the squirrels and there's a squirrel-loving character. And I named that character after one of my friends who is obsessed, whose favorite animal is squirrels. So <laughs> it works. Okay. And tip number four, this is one that I used for my main character in this new novel, is if you meet someone with a name that, that you like or it sounds interesting or it's really cool, it's unusual, write it down and use it for a character in the future. Because like I said, with my main character... It was the name of a substitute teacher I had in one of my classes, and it's just been bouncing around in my head for, like, ever, and it ended up working for the character, so that's her name. Okay, and then tip number five, one that I have used, probably one that I've used the most, especially with signing this new novel, is get names from, like, a video game or a movie or a book or whatever. Because a lot of, like, I've been playing, I'm, I'm like a big Legend of Zelda fan, and we recently got Breath of the Wild, and I've just been playing that nonstop. And, but, like, also, it's got fantasy-esque names that I like, and so I've, like, whenever I've found, like, a name that I like, I write, I have, like, a list on my phone of names, and, like, 90, 95% of them are from Breath of the Wild. Like, the name of one of my other main characters is a name that I took from Breath of the Wild. So, uh, yeah. So if there are any, like, other video games that you want to play that have, like, cool fantasy-esque names, use them. It, it'll be great. It, yeah. Just use those names. Okay. Uh, tip number six. So this is for, like, fantasy writers especially, but you can use it if you want, like, a more like unusual name so this one might sound weird but <laughs> it actually helped me come up with a pretty cool name so this one is take the name of like a person place or thing and then say it weird or add a few more vowels to it kind of thing it's because like for example for I came up with the word I used the word camel and made it camel which is kind of a cool name camel I think it's cool so I wrote that down <laughs> And make sure you write down, like, all the possible names you come up with. You don't want to come up with a great one and then lose it. Yeah. Okay, and then tip number seven. If you have, like, some friend writer friends, ask them for, like, name ideas. Or if they have, like, a character name that you really like, steal that name. Although, don't actually, like, steal it. Just ask, hey, I like this character name. Can I use it in my work? And they might say yes, they might say no. But... Yeah, ask, for, ask your writer friends for names. And then tip number eight. Okay, tip number eight I have is look up names that mean a specific thing. Like, then choose that name. Or alternately, if you want it to mean, like, a thing, type that word into, like, Google Translate and then translate it into a different language. It comes up with a good name. <laughs> like, if you want, like, a name that means, like, warrior or something just go into google search up like word names that mean warrior you'll get long lists and also just go into google like or you can just go into like google translate or whatever type in warrior on english and then translate it to like different language and find one that could be used as a name it, it'd, be, it'd be cool i think i've used that one before okay tip number nine this is one that I, that I haven't personally used, but I've seen it bouncing around. Like, I've seen that, like, other people use it, and it works out great. But this tip number nine is go to, like, a graveyard and then, like, look around, like, the graves and write down the names that you find interesting. 
see, I haven't used this because I don't live anywhere near like a graveyard or a cemetery or whatever. So it's just too much work for me, but I want, I want to be able to do this to like, just like drive out to like your nearest graveyard or like even walk if you're, if you're close enough, take, take like a notebook and then just walk around looking at the graves and write down the names that seem interesting to you. Okay. And then tip number 10, if all else fails, like if all these other tips fail, then Insert just like a filler name, like Bob or Joe or Sally, names like that, and like if, and then just fix it later when you come up with like an actual name for that character. But you never know, it's like that filler name might actually end up being that character's name. So, yeah. But anyways, these have been my 10 tips for coming up with character names. If you have any tips that work for you that I didn't say here, leave them down in the comments below. I'd like to hear them. Maybe try them out. And if, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you used any of my tips, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my face, subscribe to this channel for future, to be notified like when I post my videos. Yay. And I will see you guys in my next video. Now go home and read or write a book. Bye.